Hi, uh, I want to show you how to configure Amazon SES and SNS um, in the newsletters plugin. First off, sign in to your Amazon AWS account, and in the meanwhile, you can head over to newsletters, configuration, in the newsletters plugin, and then under general general mail settings you want to choose api choose amazon ses and you'll see that you'll need an amazon key an amazon secret region and in order to get these you go back to the amazon aws console and you go to services IAM so in IAM you can create keys and secrets and assign specific permissions to uh, those key pairs go to groups create a group I'll just call it test and the policy that we want to attach is called SES let me filter here SES full access and we'll say next step Create group, uh, go into the test group, users, and let's rather cancel, go to users and say add user, call it test, give it access, just programmatic access is fine, permissions, add this user to your group that you just created review create user so this IAM user is going to be used with the API so the access key copy that paste it in there and the secret access key copy that and paste it in there as well and then your region will be the region for your SES so with this done go to SES make sure that you have the correct region selected and it will show up in the right hand top corner I've got North Virginia here and that's what I've got selected but if you're using a different region you need to select the appropriate region and then with your key and secret and region you can do something like get send quota just to test if the API works if you get an error message of some sort it means your credentials are incorrect or the permissions on that use IAM user is incorrect and you can verify your email and you can see what emails have been verified and then you can send a test as well I'll send myself a test to make sure that it works if you're testing the emails and there's a problem what you can do is turn on the debugging and then do the test and it will give you output uh, like more details on what the problem could be so that's it for Amazon SES API and the next step is Amazon SES plus SNS so what this does is, is it's used for events like bounces unsubscribes clicks etc it, it stands for simple notification service so to start with that copy this URL provided here go to 
ES, Simple Notification Service. And you can see I've just received that test email. So it works on SNS. So this is to manage bounces and automatically keep your lists clean, etc. Go to Topics. Create a new topic. Call it Test Bounce, maybe, or anything really. Click on the ARN, say create subscription, and then paste that URL. This is an HTTPS URL, so I'll just change the protocol and say create subscription. So you'll see it says pending confirmation. By now, uh, Amazon SNS has already pinged this URL and the plugin communicated back with it saying everything's good. So this pending confirmation should now change to subscription ID. Let's refresh subscription ID. So that works. Now to link SNS to SES, go back to SES, either here, I've got this as a bookmark, or under services and SES, simple email service. And then what you want to do is under your domains, you can say verify new domain, call it test.com or what you prefer. Finish your verification and go into the domain. And then under notifications, say edit configuration. And then for bounces, choose your SNS topic that you just created and under complaints your SNS topic. So I would say for bounces and complaints turn this on and obviously not for deliveries because then you're gonna have successful deliveries deleted from the plugin and this is an email you can decide whether you want to keep this enabled or disabled save config. So this will do notifications for this domain but very important uh, I see people very uh, setting up notifications for the domain but then in the meanwhile they've got email addresses individually verified and as a result uh, Amazon AWS and ACS prioritizes the notification settings on that specifically verified email so make sure that you set it up under the notification settings of that email as well if that's the setup that you have and that's it. You've got the Amazon SES API configured. It works. You've got SNS linked up to it. So your lists are going to stay clean as well. Thank you for watching. Enjoy it.